Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from Learn Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com, and today we're going to be discussing layers in Fusion. Spoiler alert, there are no layers in Fusion, but we're going to be taking a look at, at uh, nodes and how can we think of nodes as layers to make the transition from using a, a layer-based system like After Effects easier for people who want to jump to Fusion, which uses nodes. So here's the deal. You're working with After Effects, and After Effects uses layers. Uh, so it's pretty simple. You just drag one layer on top of the other, and you create your composition, and everything is nice and easy. However, one day you decide to move to Fusion. And uh, Fusion uses nodes, so you open YouTube, and you watch a couple of videos about nodes, and now you have a pretty good understanding of what nodes are and how to basically use nodes. And then you open uh, Fusion for the first time. And then you look at the Fusion uh, interface and you have one thought, After Effects now. Now, we've all found ourselves in this, this position when we first started. So let's take a look at um, how to look at nodes in an easier way, in a way that resembles how you think of layers. And I promise you by the end of this video, you'll be able to create basic compositions with Fusion with no problem at all. So let's start. So let's start by creating a masterpiece. This is the edit uh, tab in Resolve and uh, the edit tab just uses layers. So we're going to be using that as, a, as an example. So I have a back background layer here, I'll drag it and I have a background. Then I'm going to drag a, a car layer on top of that. And now I have a, a car layer on top of the background. And finally, uh, a guy, a man, and uh, we have three layers on top of each other. And then I'm going to select the first layer, open the inspector, like move it to the left, drag this uh, car to the right. So let's repeat the same thing in Fusion. How would we do that? I'll delete all the nodes and the first thing you need to do is to create a new fusion composition it's pretty simple i'll simply go to fix library and in effects here i have a fusion composition i can drag it to the timeline and for the most part it behaves just like a normal uh, video you can change the timing move it around it just behaves like a normal video however now let's switch to Fusion. And this is the Fusion interface. Now if this is the first time you're seeing the uh, Fusion interface and you're not sure what Fusion is and how to deal with nodes, we have a full course, a, a crash course about uh, DaVinci Resolve that has a, a section about Fusion. You can find the link for it in the description. Um, the course is designed for the absolute beginner with no prior experience at all, whether in Fusion nor in nodes. So if you've never used Fusion, you don't even know what a node is, it's, it's the perfect uh, course, I think, for you. And however, if you know the basics, you can continue with us here. In this video, we're only discussing how to think of nodes as layers. So let's start. Now let's get some basics out of the way. I'll just right click here first, go to arrange tool and make sure I'm arranging my tools to grid. Now if you don't have uh, that on, so if uh, arranging tool is, is to grid is not activated, you can move the node anywhere here, which will clutter things pretty fast. So I usually just right click, go to arrange tool and make sure that I'm arranging my tools to grid. And now I can only move the, uh, you know, the node to certain points, which will make the whole process much easier for me. So this is the media out node uh, in a very simple way whatever reaches this node will appear in the edit tab then let's take a look at the background node uh, i will simply uh, drag this node from this icon here to the nodes area and this is a background node which just gives you a background i guess it has other uses but for the time being, this is simply a background node. Then we have a merge node. I'll drag the merge node here. And as the name implies, the merge node simply merges two layers together. As simple as that. So now that we know that we have a media out node, a background and a, a merge node, let's take a look on, on how to mimic layers. I'll delete the merge node for now. And the first thing I'll do is I'll drag the background node to the bottom here. You must always start with a background node because the composition's dimensions are going to be determined by the size of the background node. So you must always start with a background node, and if you need no background, you can make it fully transparent. So this is the background node, and then I'm going to drag the media out node to the top. And then I'm going to simply link the background node to the media out. And now let's start adding layers. Here's a trick. Think of every merge node as a separate layer. Let's take a look. I know that I need three layers, 
uh, because I have the background, the car, and the guy. So what I can simply do is to drag a merge node here between these two nodes and make sure that I keep holding the mouse button down until I get this blue line in the back. And once I release the mouse button, now the merge node is connected between the background and the media out. And this is the first layer. So the merge node is our first layer. Now let's add a new layer on top of the first layer. So I'll simply drag another merge node here and then a third merge node here. Uh, let's just arrange things uh, slightly better. Yeah, so now we have three merge nodes. Every merge node represents a layer. So all we did now is that we have three layers. However, these layers are still empty. Now we need to add uh, our uh, 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 elements to these layers. For example, the blue background, the car, and the guy. How do we do that? It's actually very simple. I'll simply go to the media pool here. I just have access to the same media pool I had in edit. And I'll start by dragging the background here and I'll simply connect the blue background I had before to the first layer, the first merge node that represents the first layer. And I just added the background to the first layer, which is represented here by merge one. Then let's add the car. I'll simply drag the car here and I'll connect it to the second layer. And now we have the car showing here on top of the background. And finally, let's drag the uh, man here and add him to the third layer. Now, I remember when I first learned this, uh, it was an eye opening uh, moment because you know, you understand nodes. You're like, this node goes into that and it do this and it does that and it's just all easy. However, how can I join things in a logical way, in a way that I can understand? And this was just a really, it changed my relation to Fusion. Now, in a simple way, we have first layer, second layer, and third layer. And if we needed to add a text, for example, we can add a fourth layer. We'll see how to do that in a bit. So now, how do we move things around? Every merge node that represents a layer have some controls that allows you to move things around. So we're moving the uh, object on this particular layer or merge node. So for example, I need to move the car to the right. So I'll simply click merge two here and I have the controls to the right. I have the center control that allows me to move the car to the right. Then I'll click merge three, move the guy to the left. And we achieved the same beautiful design from before. Let's discuss more things about layers now. Let's say now I wanted to add a text layer. It's pretty simple. This is my text node. I'll drag it here. And now in order to add it on top of this, I need to add a new layer on top of the three layers I have here. So I'll drag a merge node, add it here. This is my new layer, connect text to it. And I cannot see it now because the text is empty. I have no text actually. So I'll just click the text node and just type here the word example. And now again, I can simply click the merge node itself to move things uh, around and move the word example here. And note how clean this representation looks. It's, it's, it's very easy to understand for beginners because you have layer one, two, three, four, and every layer has an object on top of it. So let's move this here to make things easier. And I'll just drag all these elements here to the left and move this to this point. Now, how do you add effects? Because in After Effects, you can simply select a layer and add an effect to the layer that will appear in the effects panel and that's great. You're still using nodes here to add effects. So for example, I know that this node here represents the car. By the way, uh, you can simply right click on any node, go to rename and rename this uh, car, for example, and now it's pretty simple to determine where the car uh, node is. And now I need to add a color corrector to the car. To do that, I will simply drag the color corrector effect, which is this particular effect here, and drag it on top of the line that's connecting the car to its layer or merge, and not releasing the mouse button until I see the uh, blue line coming out of the car's node. And then I'll simply release the mouse button. And now I have a color corrector effect added to the car's uh, uh, layer because it's between the uh, media in or the car node and the layer that holds the car. So I'll simply click color corrector here and I can change the color of the car to make this even more beautiful. So this makes things really easy. If you look here, you have layer one, two, three, four, each layer have some element on top of it and all the effects that controls this particular layer can be added between the in node and the layer or the merge here. So if I needed to add another color corrector effect, I can move this to the left drag another instance here, 
added uh, you know after the first instance and for example on this one i can make the, the car black and white so the last question we have is how to move layers around because in after effects you can simply hold the layer and drag it to the left or right uh, making it start or or end a bit faster or or after other layers it's still pretty simple here i'll just click here to close the inspector and then i'll open the uh, keyframes controls to make sure that you see things correctly just make sure to click on this zoom to fit button and these are the layers however every layer here represents a node not an element which means even the color corrector effect is going to have its own uh, keyframe representation here however you can just name things for example this is car and i can drag the car element to make it start later or before so this will mimic layers a lot and make it easier for you so i can simply make this layer start later in the composition or before in the composition it just mimics layer a lot so now you know how to um, add layers or some representation of layers and you know how to move layers around add uh, elements to the layers and add effects to the layers so i hope you found this helpful if you found this helpful please visit us at learncolorgradingandfilmsimplified.com uh, to join one of our free courses to get you started with davinci resolve thank you very much filmsimplified.com